So last night, I'm lying in bed. It's 3.30 a.m. and I cannot fall back asleep. And this happens to me sometimes. I wouldn't say it's a common occurrence, but I'll wake up and can't fall back asleep and then my head starts spinning and I can't stop thinking, start worrying about stuff. I'm inventing things to think about and worry about and it's just not good. So after about a half an hour of this, I got up and I was sitting on my couch. I, I was gonna meditate. I ended up meditating a little bit afterwards, but I looked over to the side and I had this book, which was given to me as a gift by somebody very important to me. I'll just leave it at that. And it's called Consolations by David White. And I flipped it open to a chapter called Courage that I wanted to read to you guys. I don't know, it made a big difference. I, I really enjoyed reading it and kind of absorbing the words and it completely shifted my, how I was feeling. And I went back to bed about an hour later, a little bit more sort of at peace, if you will. And I guess I wanted to read this because I feel like I talk about fear a lot. I feel like it's a really interesting subject. It's so deeply intertwined with so many of the things that we do. And I feel like if we are able to have a deeper understanding of fear and how to face it and how to how to explore it, if you will. Life can become so much richer, so much more exciting, so much deeper, you know? So anyway, I guess I wanted to read this. Um, I'll leave a link to this book in the description. I highly recommend it. This is one that I recommend you get physically, like, a, like an actual book, not an audio book, so that you can sort of read the words at your own speed and reread them and kind of absorb them and chew on them and, you know, do the things that you can only do when you have a book in your hands. Um, so, this is courage. Courage is a word that tempts us to think outwardly, to run bravely against opposing fire, to do something under besieging circumstance, and perhaps, above all, to be seen to do it in public, to show courage, to be celebrated in story, rewarded with medals, given the accolade. But a look at its linguistic origins is to look in a more interior direction and toward its original template, the old Norman French coeur, or heart. Courage is the measure of our heartfelt participation with life, with another, with a community, a work, a future. To be courageous is not necessarily to go anywhere or do anything, except to make conscious those things we already feel deeply and then to live through the unending vulnerabilities of these consequences. To be courageous is to seat our feelings deeply in the body and in the world, to live up to and into the necessities of relationships that often already exist with things we find we already care deeply about, with a person, a future, a possibility in society, or with an unknown that begs us on, and always has begged us on. To be courageous is to stay close to the way we are made. The French philosopher Camus used to tell himself quietly to live to the point of tears, not as a call for maudlin sentimentality, but as an invitation to the deep privilege of belonging, and the way belonging affects us shapes us and breaks our heart at a fundamental level. It is a fundamental dynamic of human incarnation to be moved by what we feel, as if surprised by the actuality and privilege of love and affection and its possible loss. Courage is what love looks like when tested by the simple everyday necessities of being alive. From the inside, it can feel like confusion. Only slowly do we learn what we really care about and allow our outer life to be realigned in that gravitational pull. With maturity, that robust vulnerability comes to feel like the only necessary way forward, the only real invitation, and the surest, safest ground from which to step. On the inside, we come to know who and what and how we love and what we can do to deepen that love. Only from the outside and only by looking back does it look like courage. I don't know, I think this is so, so beautifully written. It felt like exactly what I needed to absorb last night as I was worrying about the things that I worry about. You know, my career, you know, like, okay, I'll give you a couple of examples. I was worrying about how I haven't been showing up as much lately online, um, partially because I think things are shifting and changing um, 
and this is a necessary sort of transition that I'm going through. And so it feels like I'm stepping on uncertain ground. And so I'm worrying about that. I'm worrying about silly things, I guess. Um, but they were consuming my mental space all the same. And I don't know, the reading that, it feels kind of like it provided me clarity in a sense. Um, a reminder to sort of live with the heart, if you will, le coeur, as uh, David White wrote in that little chapter. And when I remember to live that way, it just it kind of just provides a lot of perspective on, on what matters, what what actually deserves the mental and emotional energy that I that I have. Anyway, I uh, just felt the desire to share that with you guys. I've shared a little bit of poetry in the past on this channel, and this felt a little bit kind of along those lines. Um, so I hope this helps. Um, perhaps this can be a reminder to not forget to live with as open a heart as you can, as you can. Just really just had the inspiration to do this like an hour ago. And so I decided to sit down and record this, but, um, anyway, I'm rambling now. This video needs to end. I'll see you guys soon.